Good morning. Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's July 5th, Friday morning, and uh, it uh, looks like we could have an exciting day here today with uh, some volatility as the outside markets are giving us some indication of that. We've got the dollar up sharply. We've got the gold uh, and silver down uh, considerably here this morning. What's happened uh, over the, the last day is that the uh, European Central Bank and the Bank of England uh, has uh, come out with uh, statements that show no signs of withdrawing their stimulus, which uh, is causing some uh, strength here for the U.S. dollar and uh, for the uh, stock market indexes as we uh, go into this 7.30 time frame here this morning when the employment numbers uh, for June will uh, be released. And that is going to be watched very closely and could have an impact even on the grain openings uh, depending on how the outside markets react. We've also got uh, weather forecast that uh, looks ideal for corn and soybean growth here over the next uh, several weeks uh, as we get into the uh, majority or the peak pollination of uh, the U.S. corn crop about the third week of July. Uh, it looks like uh, moisture will continue, uh, scattered showers uh, throughout most of the Midwest. Uh, we've also got temperatures that could rise to the upper 80s, low 90s, uh, which will not be a, a problem in most cases as uh, there's plenty of moisture to, uh, uh, to nourish the crop. Uh, we've also did find that uh, overnight South Korea announced that they will be lifting the ban on uh, U.S. Uh, wheat uh, imports, which could be uh, supportive for the wheat market here this morning. Uh, also, um, Japan says that they will import 750,000 tons of soft wheat rather than the, uh, the western white wheat that they have. Uh, because of uh, quality concerns. So that uh, may give us some support here in the uh, Chicago wheat complex. And uh, we did hear that Jordan bought 100,000 tons of uh, wheat, uh, 50 optional origin, and 50 out of Ukraine. Uh, in the livestock trade, uh, cash cattle traded there at uh, 119 on Friday or on uh, Wednesday. And um, in the south, uh, pretty much in line with uh, a week ago. We got cutout values uh, in beef firmed up a little bit on Wednesday, up 63 in choice, up $1.85 in select. Pork cutout values continue to uh, erode. Uh, we expect that uh, the livestock markets might get some uh, support here uh, this morning on the opening. We'd have to call them steady higher just uh, off of uh, the outside market influences uh, and uh, some of the uh, uh, hopes that we could see some improvement in uh, in buying uh, and uh, retail counters uh, refilling their uh, uh, their shelves as uh, we've got a pretty good weekend here throughout the the uh, Midwest and the East Coast, so uh, we should see some good clearance there in uh, in the beef. However, we're uh, we struggle as we go forward as we're into the dog days of summer usually a time period where uh, beef demand and, and uh, pork demand slows down a little bit uh, as uh, vacation time travel increases. So uh, a, a lot to look at here today, a lot of reasons to stay in touch with Allendale's research. We hope everybody has a very safe weekend, a very successful trading day, and we'll talk to you on Monday morning.